Hey everybody, my name is Dawn Marie and I have a channel here on YouTube. Um, I'm a very, 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 I wouldn't even call myself a YouTuber, but I do do videos here on YouTube. Um, I did just recently come back to YouTube after five years and I uh, been gone for, so, uh, for a very long time. But um, I've been on these YouTube streets uh, for the last past couple of weeks and just being a very silent viewer and um, I know somebody may try to come for me and try to point out the fact that oh she only have so many videos and she don't get that many views that's fine I only do it out of um, just loving to do videos I run my own business I, I have my own money I don't take YouTube serious so granted that YouTube is a very, very lucrative business and people are making a killing on YouTube. But what I want to know, what does those that are ranking high in the YouTube um, industry, what do they sacrifice? Because um, to become very successful on this um, YouTube platform, I see a lot of people sacrificing their morals and um, other things, you know. Um, and I just only wanted to chime in and give a little bit of my two cents. It's not warranted and I know no one asked for it. And again, someone may try to come for me and say, she's a small YouTuber. She only got 13 views on her last video. Um, and she's doing it for clout. No, I don't care nothing about that. If you could look in my eyes, just um, sense that I don't care anything about that. I did want to come back to YouTube because it was a place that I once loved. It was a place where I enjoyed, um, you know, just communicating with um, some of the YouTube um, relationships that I built years ago. And like I said, I've been gone for five years. None of that um, clout chasing, what y'all call it, um, when you um, get people to watch clickbait. I don't know nothing about that. Let me just give my age. I'm 50 years old. Did I say that? I did. I said it. But you can't tell she's 50 years old. Never mind this royal blue hair. <laughs> but um, I don't care anything about any of that. I just wanted to chime in and say I, I watched several videos. I watched Paris video. I watched Hazel video. And I'm just now um, watching some of Ashley's um, video and um, who's another one Toya talk I watched a few of her commentary um, what's the other one name um, Trolletta I watched um, how do I forget this one Keisha Kaylee Keisha Kaylee I watched her video I even watched her video video for today and um, I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to say, um, number one to Keisha, dear darling, I think you need to remove you and your babies off of this YouTube channel. And I'm not coming for no one. I'm very neutral. And I don't even want to say I'm neutral because... I'm just tapping into and just kind of like sitting back diagnosing everything that's going on. But I really see that this, I really see Keisha, that you're spiraling. And if anybody have a lot of wisdom and can see through some of the smoke screen that uh, today's video was a scare tactic. Saturday's video was... Um, not heartfelt and it didn't come from the heart it was more of damage control so that's all i'm gonna say about that basically i got on this my platform so basically all i'm saying is um keisha please remove yourself take yourself a good long break and think about your actions no i'm not taking sides but i'm just going off the fact that you did um, admit to your wrong. There's evidence. And then you did put the battery in your girlfriend's back to speak on your behalf. 
and you did um, the same with the other YouTube um, content creator. And then you have to think about this, Keisha. You've done so much that others can get their lawyers. You're not the only person that can get a lawyer. You're not the only person that can get a lawyer. You've done things. You wrote a book. You put, I don't want to call it false narratives, in the book. But there was things you put in the book that I don't think you should have done. You have to think about your actions. There's a word in the scripture that says, you reap what you sow. And the reaping is always greater than the sowing. And what that means is, whatever you put out there, you're going to get it back double fold. So you have to be careful how you walk this walk, live this life, and talk this talk. So with your enough is enough video, that's where it should have stopped. That's where it should have had its demise. That's where it should have ended. It should have ended. You did what you did, and then you received what you received, and then you came back and you apologized. How do you apologize and then come back? With more ammunition to fight. Now granted. I personally. Look at character. And I don't really believe. That someone has the audacity. To just step into your. Your your world like that. And really come to your home. I don't believe it. I don't think it happened. I think it's just a narrative. That you're going to spend to bring the attention. Off of the things that you did. And I'm going to be very, very candid and very, very honest. I personally really tried to see your side of things. I really did. And not to say that I don't sympathize with you. I really do. My heart goes out to you because I know enough can be enough. But when enough is enough, you go somewhere and you sit down. And you be still. And you wait to move when you feel it's necessary that God has given you some instruction, some wise to wise. You're adhering to wisdom. You don't keep fighting when you say enough is enough. You don't keep fighting. Sometimes you got to take a licking and keep on ticking. I'm just going to repeat this once again, just in case you didn't get it. Sometimes you have to take a licking. And just keep on ticking. Kenny Rogers wrote a song so many years ago. And it's probably before your time. And he said. And the, the song says. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You have to know when to hold it. You have to know when to fold them, you know. You have to just take a loss, take a L. Know when to walk away, know when to run. After all, you said you're trying to protect your children. I didn't jump on here to beat a dead horse. I didn't jump on here to jump on your back. This is 2021. And I doubt if anyone walking around fearing others when they make um, threats. Or I, I cringed almost when you had that Zoom um, page up and you thought, I don't know if you thought it was necessary to have your attorney or whoever she is to speak at someone else. People probably were sitting back really not giving a care about that. People, you don't, 2021 people not that scared easily. And they see a, a, a scare tactic just as plain as day. So I just advise you at this point, don't make another step. Don't do another thing. If you have attorneys, let them handle it. You just protect you and your children by removing yourself off this platform. I mean, if you have the money that I'm hearing everyone say you have, you have time to take off. What's meant for you will be for you. No one can take nothing from you if it's meant for you. But you have to get yourself together honestly. Because you're, you're looking bad for someone just tapping in. I'm not taking anyone's side. You're looking bad. 
and I feel for you. I was looking at your one of your videos the other day, and you can see around your mouth that you're 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 sinking in. You're already small, and I can see that a lot of this is wearing even on your health. All up in this area, you're losing density. And I'm just gonna say these last few words. When enough is enough, you don't keep on fighting. When enough is enough, even if you got to tuck your tail and run and hide, you get out of the fire. You might smell like smoke, but you get out of the fire. You don't keep fighting when enough is enough, sweetie. You said it on your platform, enough is enough. You rendered the apology. When you apologize, that's admitting that you have done something. I've been in that place when I rendered apology and you really want things to just go away. But you got to make the first step. You have to take you and your children off this platform and heal, properly heal. And it's not about anybody getting the last words, who's winning at this time. All that is pointless. At the end of the day, when Paris get off of social media, she go live her life. When Ashley and, and um, Hazel, when they get off social media or YouTube, they go live their life. All these other commentary, everybody have a life after this. And literally, I feel in my heart, you have made this your life. Separate it. Separate it and, and enjoy YouTube and then enjoy your life. But you can't do that in the in this moment right now because you won't let it go. You have to let it go. Heal, take a licking, keep on ticking, and be honest within yourself. Make sure your hands are clean before you run to authorities. That's important. You have to make sure your hands are clean. You have to make sure your deeds aren't evil. You have to make sure you right all your wrongs. Then you can really live in enough is enough. And come back in a sense of newness. And when you are truly sorry, it's felt. Because what comes from the heart reaches the heart. Let me say that again. What comes from the heart reaches the heart. If it's just a topical surface type of thing, then it's going to be received in that manner. Once again, I'm not trying to boost my channel. I just felt like I wanted to come on here and, and say a heartfelt word to you. To you, Keisha. You have three babies. They're beautiful little girls. Pick up the pieces. Right now you're living off of broken pieces. Pick up the pieces. Repair yourself. And then keep it moving. It's too much more out here to do in 2021. Okay? So listen. If you watch this video, I appreciate it. I'm not looking for no one to like this video. I'm not looking for no one to subscribe to my channel. I don't care about that. Because I was clearly saying after today that I make this plea out to Keisha. That I was going to remove myself from YouTube. I thought I was coming back to a community that I knew that I was going to be able to build again. So I'm not looking for any of that. Uh, if you like this channel, please, I don't care about none of that. My name is Claudette Don Marie. I'm a fashion designer. I have a community. I have what I need to keep on pushing in life. I hope YouTube and the YouTube streets. Get it together. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to lie. I've been praying for Keisha. I've been praying for her. Because she's looking, she's looking as if some of this stuff will cause her to commit. I ain't going to say the S word. Or that she goes into having a nervous breakdown. So my legs are hurting me. And I'm trying to get out of here. And go get food. So I just wanted to just drop my little two cents off. You all enjoy yourself. Have a great day.